<laughs> well, good morning, everybody. Look what I found in my closet today. Oh my goodness, and what is today? Today is, ah, uh, let me see, it's a Wednesday. And I know it for sure because it's going to be Thursday when my stuff comes in for my fabric organization. So it's not here yet, and it won't be here until tomorrow. So this is Wednesday, and it is June the 8th, June the 8th, 2016. So anyway, how's everybody today? Oh my gosh, do you have a cup of coffee? I have some things to show you today. Do you see my pants? Do you see my pants? <laughs> they're from Belk. And I hardly ever wear them because they're way too big. And they keep on, see how big they are? <laughs> they keep on falling down. But I put them out of the closet. I told Jerry, I said, I am going to go upstairs and fix those pants today. So once I got up here, um, I thought, oh, you know what, I need to make a video because there's this product somebody asked me about and I needed to show it to you guys. And so while I was out um, looking for something else, look what I found. I found it just laying on my desk because it has yellow in it. And remember my yellow pants from yesterday? I was going to make um, this to go with my yellow pants. But look at this. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. How does it match these pants I have on? And this is a hard color to find. It's kind of a, oh, it's not orange, and it's not coral, and it's not peach. It's like something in between. I don't know. But anyway, I was so excited. I'm going to make a blouse out of this. Because it goes with the yellow, and it goes with these, and I'm going to fix these. And pardon my shoes. <laughs> Those don't look very nice in the camera, do they? Okay, there's my foot instead. So anyway, since I go with the yellow, and they go with these pants, I'm going to make a blouse out of this today. Now, the reason I want to make a blouse is because I worked, oh, six, eight hours yesterday and four to five hours on Sunday on this picture quilt. And I worked and I worked and I worked. I'll show you guys the quilting on the back because you can tell by the quilting on the back how intensive it is. See all the circles and the swirls? And there's a whole bunch of feathers in here too. See the feathers? The feathers and the circles and the swirls. And I used a matching thread. I used red on red and um, black on black and white on white. And so that's why the red is pulling through the back. I keep my tension on the bobbin really tight because I don't want any of the bobbin thread showing on the top. Okay. So anyway, I made this quilt. And I decided that this time, where's a picture? Over here. I decided that this time I wasn't going to quilt the people in the picture because it makes them look so funny. Well, y'all tell me what you think. Here's the front of it. It's all bound. Can you see how the pictures just puff out? They don't have any quilting to hold them down and they just puff out. And I thought yesterday that I thought, oh, it'll just look like Trapunto, and people will think I did it on purpose, and I spent a whole bunch of time cutting holes in the back and sticking extra padding in. <laughs> so tell me what you think. Maybe on the side you can see they're puffy. But I was so sick of this quilt yesterday. I thought, you know what? It's morning, y'all, and my nose is doing the allergy drip. Um, I thought, I don't ever want to make a quilt again. I'm tired of quilts. These bindings are so hard to put on. And I'm always that way when I get through with the quilt. And I swear I'm never going to make another one. <laughs> because, like, where am I going to put this now that it's done? The only way I can hang it up is to put one of those strips along the top of the back. And then I can hang it up. And I might do that. The problem is I should have already done it. But anyway, I wanted to show you my new, 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 new quilt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Part two. Whatever. Sorry, guys sneezing fit. I'm using this stuff now called Flonase that you squirt up your nose and it's supposed to last 24 hours but for some reason somebody forgot to tell the Flonase that so <laughs> it's only lasting like 12 on me. All right so this is from the lady that asked me to tell her what the color catcher sheets are. So I'm going to show you what they are. This is what they are. They're called Shout color catcher and this is what they look like I think the biggest box there is this box had 56 in it I would have bought 5006 if they had a box that big so this is what they look like 
and they come out white, okay? And they're kind of smelly, so I hope they don't set myself sneezing again. Whew. Go away. So, here's the deal. Here's some fabric. Now, I just bought two pieces of fabric from Louise Cutting. The only thing about Louise Cutting is her fabric is really, really, really nice. <laughs> and really, really expensive. <laughs> this piece right here cost me $65. <laughs> it's a linen. And I don't care if it's some special product from the China Sea. I don't care. If I can't put it in the washer and I can't put it in the dryer, I don't want it. So this is a linen. And so I figured I would wash it and I would dry it and whatever was going to happen to it would go ahead and happen to it, right? And I bought a beautiful, beautiful blue and white uh, piece to go with it, but I haven't washed it yet. It will be the blouse or the jacket. So anyway, this is the linen. And it is um, kind of wrinkly, but not bad, and it's really soft. I really like it. Probably she'd say, oh my gosh, you weren't supposed to wash it. But anyway, I don't care, I did. But I want to show you, <laughs> always, when you have a dark color, always wash it by itself, even if you have a color catcher. Because there's only so much the color catcher can catch. And I wasn't sure of this, being a linen, I didn't know it was gonna run or not, I don't ever buy linen. But I know, knew it was dark blue, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to throw a fabric sheet in there, a color catcher, just in case. I want to show you what this white sheet came out looking like. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Major running. So, when I opened up the washing machine at the end of the cycle, and I saw that it had bled so much, I decided to run it through the rinse cycle again and throw in another sheet. So here is the second sheet that came out, okay? I took these out of the garbage all. <laughs> so you can see that the second sheet is lighter than the first sheet, but it's still catching color. So that tells me in my lightning fast mind, <laughs> always, once these turn into a pair of pants, always wash them by themselves, okay? And the thing about it is, I don't wash my clothes very often. I don't wear them very much. I have so many pants and so many shirts that I don't wear them very much. So, shoot, if I wash them once a year, I'd be surprised. Because I think the less that you can wash your clothes, the better it is for them, really. So, let me see. Was there anything else I wanted to show you guys today? I don't think so. I think I'm done. So, we'll come back soon and see what else I can bring out of my closet that's not a closet it's an attic <laughs> okay and I'm going to show you my blouse when I get it made okay be back soon bye